Hello everyone. Today, let us discuss about the stream of education mostly considered secondary as compared to medical or engineering. Pharmacy. We, Team Pharmacad, bring to you Pharmacy, a career. First, let us try to know the basic definition of pharmacy. It is a science of dealing with drugs for the diagnosis, treatment, and cure of any disease to any individual or animal. This is the basic definition of pharmacy. As we go further, we'll know more about what exactly it is. Also talking about the monetary aspects of this pharmaceutical industry, it was estimated that in the year 2018, the global pharmaceutical market will be approximately 1000 billion US dollars, which as you guys can see, I have converted into Indian rupees for our better understanding. And still, we fail to realize the plethora of opportunities or the scope in this industry. One classic example is Mr. Dilip Sangui. He is one of the richest Indians and he is the owner of Sun Pharmaceuticals. At one point in time, Sun Pharmaceuticals was at its peak and Mr. Dilip Sangvi was also the richest Indian being ahead of Mr. Mukesh Ambani for a certain period of time. So there is an opportunity, it's just about grabbing the opportunity in this industry. Talking about the major subjects of pharmacy, let us see this is the basic flow of the entire course. The major subjects are pharmacognosy and pharmaceutical chemistry. Pharmacognosy deals with extraction of drugs from naturally occurring substances and pharmaceutical chemistry talks about synthesizing the medicine in the laboratory. Once the drug has been extracted or has been synthesized, it is taken up by the subject called pharmacology for checking its action on the desired tissues or the target organs under clinical research or clinical trials. Once the drug is giving us the desired action, pharmaceutics decides the route of administration into the human body or the animal body, whichever is best suited. Pharmaceutical analysis then validates all the dosage forms that have been prepared just to ensure that it is of no harm to the consumer. And Drug Regulatory Affairs takes care of all the documentation right from its extraction or synthesis in the laboratory to the analytical techniques. So, if we wish to pursue pharmacy after our 12th grade, we have three options. One is Diploma in Pharmacy, it's a two-year course. Then we have a Pharma Doctorate, which is a six-year course, and we have Bachelor's in Pharmacy, which is a four-year course. Let us study each one in detail. Diploma in Pharmacy. It's a two-year course. The admission is by your HSC percentage. It gives you a brief overview of all subjects. Uh, the job prospects after diploma would be sales or, or a medical store or a hospital pharmacist or also into patient counseling. Higher studies possible after Diploma in Pharmacy would be Bachelor's of Pharmacy and the student would get a direct entry in the second year of BPharm. Talking about Pharma Doctorate, it is one of the new upcoming courses in the country. Already very popular in the southern part of the country but not very much in Maharashtra or nearby. It's a six year course after HSC. The admission is by HSC percentage. It is more focused on clinical pharmacy and also on patient counseling. So mostly it is generally associated with a nearby or an in-house hospital where the students get a practical approach towards whatever they study in the college as well. The job prospects majorly are hospital patient counseling, sometimes even medical writing and pharmacovigilance. Now let us talk about the most popular course in pharmacy that is the Bachelor of Pharmacy. It's more preferred compared to D-Farm or a PharmD. It's a four-year course after HSC. 
the admission is by CET scores. The ideal score to get into one of the best colleges would be 160 plus out of 200. Anything between 130 to 160 would be good enough and anything between 100 to 130 would be a basic average score to get into a college in Mumbai. All the major subjects are covered in length or in depth as already discussed. Talking about some top colleges for B Pharmacy in Mumbai, these are the three government colleges we have here. Bombay College of Pharmacy in Kalina, Santa Cruz, KM Kundarani College of Pharmacy at Kolaba, and C. Usha College of Pharmacy at Santa Cruz, which is under SADT University, which is only for girls. And the other private, uh, there are autonomous colleges as well, Institute of Chemical Technology, Matonga, and SVKM's uh, NMIMS, that is Narsi Monji Institute at Villeparle. Talking about the private university, private colleges under the Mumbai University, we have Vivekan College at Chambur, Bhanubin Nanavati College at Villeparle, MIT at Bandra, Bharti Vidya Pit at Belapur, Saraswati Vidya Bhavan at Dombivali, St. John's at Palgar, Oriental at Sanpara, Gaylord Institute at Kopal Kherne Vashi, Sterling at Seawoods, Viva College at Virar. These are some of the other colleges in Mumbai, HK College at Jugeshwari, LH Hiranandani at Ulhasnagar, Konkan Gyanpeet at Karzat, Vispate College at Panvel, SS Jundle at Shahapur, Kalsekar College at Panvel again, and Ideal College is at Asangao. These are some of the colleges that majority of the students venture into. And there are a few more, which I have not mentioned on this list. After this, we have the approximate intake and the fee structure. Most colleges have an intake of 60 students in the first year of B Pharmacy. SNDT and ICT have an intake of 30 seats. For government colleges, the fee structure is approximately 20 to 25,000 rupees per year. For private institutes, it is an average of around 1 to 1.5 lakhs per year. Talking about higher studies in India, the students can pursue for Masters of Pharmacy after finishing his B Pharm. Masters of Pharmacy is for two years. The major subjects in M Pharm would be Pharmacology, Pharmaceutics, Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Analysis, Cognacy, QA, QC and Regulatory Affairs. The criteria to get into an M Pharm course would be the student should be a B Pharm graduate and possibly GPAT qualified. GPAT is an entrance exam. We will talk about GPAT at the end of this session. Higher studies in India. Further, the student can also pursue MS, that is Masters of Science, from institutes like NIPER and BITS. NIPER is National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, one of the premier institutes for pharmacy in India. Criteria, there are separate ex entrance exams for each of these institutes. And further, if the student wishes to pursue PharmD, he can do PharmD even after doing your B Pharm, but that would be a three year course after the bachelor's. If the students have more inclination towards management and less inclination towards the technical aspect of pharmacy, then there are options of MBA, which is a two year course again. There is core MBA in which we have marketing, finance, and human resources. The only drawback or limitation for taking up core MBA is that the student may not end up working for a pharmaceutical company. We have allied fields like international business, business design, healthcare administration and we also have core pharma MBA from NIPER and other B schools. Now with pharma MBA be rest assured that the student will end up working for a pharmaceutical company. The entrance exams for the same are CET, CAT, SNAP, CMAT, NMAT, ZAT and many others. Several institutes have their own entrance exam. What about higher studies abroad? If the student wishes to go abroad, then there is an option of Masters of Science. It's a two-year course or a direct PhD, which is approximately between three to five years. Some of the major countries where the students can pursue their career ahead it would be USA, Canada, Australia, UK, 
and Germany. The exams we have our GRE, TOEFL and IELTS. As discussed, let us talk about what GPAT exactly is. So GPAT is a national level entrance exam for Masters of Pharmacy in India. It is governed or it is conducted by All India Council of Technical Education. It consists of 125 questions and the time duration is 3 hours. There is negative marking applicable, plus 4 for the correct answer and minus 1 for the wrong answer. The significance of qualifying GPAT is 1. The student will be eligible for a stipend of 10,000 to 12,000 rupees a month. That will make his or her M Pharmacy course absolutely free of cost almost. Student also will be able to appear for the NIPER entrance exam. The NIPER JEE has a prerequisite that the student has to be a GPAT qualified candidate. And also GPAT qualification has become mandatory for PhD applications in the country. So some of the major advantages for the student who has qualified GPAT with a good decent rank. Talking about the job prospects in pharmacy, there are several opportunities. Uh, industries and allied jobs, you can see the list, it's almost unending. Then there is clinical studies, we have clinical research, pharmacovigilance, medical writing. We also have government jobs and there are many other courses, other jobs as well. You can even pursue your own business. If you would like to know more in detail about any of the job profiles, you can get in touch with us. Or if you would like to know about any processes with respect to admission or with respect to counseling in terms of MPharm or MBA, you can directly get in touch with us on these contact details and we would be happy to help you. Any counseling session is absolutely free of cost. You can drop by at any of our branches, either at Dadar or at Thane on any Sunday and we will have our counselor to discuss with you about what are the possible career options and will help you choose the most suitable option as per your liking background and inclination. I hope this video was useful or this information was useful. Do let us know if there are any suggestions or feedback. Thank you so much.